Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are brand new, who got drawn into this video, I don't know what it is that brought you here, but I love that for you. I love that for me, I love that for us. Thank you, I hope you come back. Um, and for those of you who are my loyals, my ride or die, thank you, I love y'all, I appreciate you. Okay, so um, a couple days ago, I put up on my Instagram, for those of you who wanna know my Instagram, at justinejoy312, um, I put up a little poll a few days ago just kind of asking you guys what kind of YouTube content you guys want to see from me and I got so many like um, we want to get to know you a little bit more we would love some story times and I was like you know what a story time is the perfect way to get to know somebody so with that being said today I'll be doing a story time um, on my first love I know y'all are like come on what's the story okay I'll start now I met this guy so I'll give him a fake name what should it be hmm I love Nick Miller from uh, New Girl, so we're gonna call him Nick Miller. Hey, look at that. I've never been an inspiration before. I don't like it, it's too much responsibility. So I met Nick Miller, right? And we kind of ran in the same circle. We were both very religious. At the time, we loved exactly the same. It was a very like passionate love. I don't know if it's because we were so young at the time, but it felt real, okay? It was a real kind of love for us and we were just so invested. But because this was like around middle school, because we were both young, our parents were like, y'all are not really ready to date. And we were like, okay, this is too hard. We should just date in secret. So we did, right? So we started kind of like seeing each other in secret and uh, whenever we'd like have a reason to see each other, it was just amazing. But because we were so young, we like couldn't always just like go out and see each other. Also, my childhood, I was a little bit sheltered, right? So. My parents were literally like, you go to school, maybe hang out with Diana, um, soccer after school, youth group. We had gotten to a point where we were just like, okay, we're so tired of this. We clearly feel this way about each other. We're so young, we're not even like trying to do all that, you know, like we weren't trying to like do anything like sexual or whatever, but we just loved each other's company. We just wanted to be around each other. So this one time, and mind you, we had been secretly seeing each other for a couple of years, right? <laughs> he was house sitting for this family. He would spend the night there taking care of the dogs, the plants, whatever, you know, house sitting stuff. So he hit me up one time and was like, hey, so I'm house sitting for this family. Like, it'd be cool if we could hang out here. And I'm sitting there like, think Justine, think. How can you do this? And I was like, I got it. I know this isn't gonna end well, but the whole middle part's gonna be awesome. Obviously, I'm not allowed to be hanging out with boys, right? So I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call Diana, tell her I'm coming over, tell my parents I'm going to her house, and then Nick Miller was gonna come pick me up, and then we'd go to the house. So I was like, Justine, you're brilliant. Go forth with this plan. It sounds like a great one, right? So I asked for permission, but I knew, I know y'all can relate, right? But when you're about to go ask your parents for something, you just know they're not gonna let you unless like you bring your younger sibling with you right so i was like oh and adele will be coming with me if you know if that's okay we just want to have like a sleepover at her house adele and i pack our bags we go over diana's house right mind you adele did not know anything at this time we get to the house i'm like getting myself ready because nick miller is about to come pick me up right <laughs> adele is sitting there and she's like where are you going, sis? Like, you stepping out for a second? You going to check the mail for Diana or what? And I'm like, um, so about that, I'm actually going to hang out with Nick Miller. I'm kind of spending the night at uh, that house that he's house sitting for. Y'all, poor, poor Adele. This girl never did wrong. She was always just dragged into things for no reason. She literally, as soon as I told her, she was like, I want no parts, y'all know. We're gonna get grounded, we're gonna get a whooping, like, I can't, I can't, but I'm like, Adele, calm down, calm down. It will be okay. So Nick Miller comes to pick me up. We go to the house and, you know, we're just like hanging out, whatever, doing what we do when we hang out. Um, and it was just like the sweetest little night, exactly what we needed, exactly what we wanted, just to kind of be in each other's company. A couple days later, right, I'm at home, you know, doing what I do in the living room, watching TV, doing my little dances in the living room, and the phone rings, and I picked it up, and the other person on the line goes, Who is this? And I'm like, who is this? You called here. Y'all, it was Nick Miller's dad on the phone. Yeah. Not only was he angry enough to call and not be the first thing he said, but then for him to hear me have an attitude talking about, who's this? You called here. 
Oh, I wanted to die. He's like, who is this? I'm like, Justine. He's like, you and your parents need to come to my house right now, right now. And I'm like, oh my God, he's like, this is it. This is how I die. So hangs up the phone. My dad is away at work. So my mom's sitting there. She's like, who's on the phone? And I was like, for a moment, I literally went through. I was like, do I lie? Should we just not go? Maybe he won't call back. Maybe, but I knew like we see their family all the time that like it was one of those things I couldn't get away from. But I still was like, do I call back, tell him we're not coming and that I'm running away from home? Like, what do I do? Knowing that I have no other option but to tell my mom and to go over there, I was like, oh, okay, it's fine. Mom, um, that was Nick Miller's dad. He wants us to go over there. That's all I say, you guys, because at this point, I don't really know what's going on. I have a feeling we're caught, but I'm like, there's just no way. Like, nobody knew about it except for, like, Adele and Diana, and I know my girls aren't going to say nothing, and if they are, why would they say something to his dad? Like, it just didn't make sense. I was like, there's no way, so I'm not going to say nothing. I'm just going to say, we got to go over there, right? We get to the house, and he has a really big family, and there's always, like, kids running around. It was the quietest I've ever seen in his house. We are walking into the house and I look to my right and all of his siblings are outside just sitting outside like not playing not nothing just sitting. I look over and I see his sister one of them goes like this. she sees me she goes like this. I'm looking at her trying to like read her eyes trying to like get something from her like sis can you tell me what's going on and like I get nothing from her she just literally is looking at me like I'm like oh god okay like I don't know what's going on but I'm about to walk into my death I'm about to open this door into their house and walk into my death so I walk in and it's just Nick Miller and his parents Nick Miller's dad goes off he's like how could you guys do this do you understand like do you understand what you've done he goes off for about 10 minutes and finally when he's like quiet my mom she goes what's going on <laughs> My poor mom literally had no idea what was going on because I didn't tell her. The way Nick Miller's dad got so much more, he got even angrier than he was. He goes, Oh, you didn't tell her? In my head, I was like, well, no, sir, because I didn't know what was going on and I wasn't about to wrap myself out if I didn't need to. I was like, no, I didn't tell her. And he goes, tell her. And I'm sitting there, I was like, um, the other night when I said I was uh, going to Diana's house, um, I actually went and hung out with Nick Miller and we spent the night together. And my mom is like, oh, okay. This was the worst moment of my life. So we're sitting there. There's a lot of yelling. We had to pray, ask for forgiveness, all of this stuff, right? And... Then there comes a point where Nick Miller's dad goes, So what did you guys do? And I was like, looking at him, he's looking at me. Guys, he made us sit there and tell him what we did, okay? And at that point, we were just caught. There was no more room for lies. So I'm looking at him, he's looking at me, and I, gi I give Nick Miller this like, well, I'm not about to say it, this is your dad. He tries to tell him what we did, you guys, but using bases. Y'all remember the bases? <laughs> His dad goes, What does that mean? Y'all, we had to sit there and explain what the bases meant in detail. In full detail whatever that meeting ends and i open the door and nick miller's dad goes oh i will be coming over later when your dad is home i was so just like no please don't i'll explain i'll take it from here so we get in the car i'm anticipating the worst car ride home with my mom she starts laughing you guys she starts laughing and i'm like <laughs> I was like, is this the laugh before you smack me? Like, I didn't know why she was laughing. So I wait for her to say something because I'm not about to start laughing with her. And all of a sudden she goes, ah, Justine, this is a bad situation, but you didn't really even do anything bad. I was like, huh? She's like, I know y'all lied. I know it was a bad situation, but like, you didn't do anything bad. She's like, but you know, your dad's not going to see it that way. And I'm like, mom, 
I know. Do you think we can not tell him? And she was like, we have to tell him. This is probably the end of your life, but I think it might be okay. When my dad comes home, I run to my room so fast. I don't know why I thought running to my room would protect me, but I did. I ran to my room and um, my mom, she comes in and she's like, just go wait in the living room. I'll talk to him, it's fine. So I go in and sit in the living room. She goes, she talks to him. A Couple minutes later, my dad comes out, doesn't look at me, doesn't say anything, just goes down the stairs, out the door and leaves leaves i was like i was like is he is he going to um pick out my coffin right now like where's he going what's going on like so an hour goes by my dad comes back and and this is when like my heart broke because the way my dad was so disappointed in me it was that moment that i was like i will never ever make my parents feel like this again then Nick Miller's dad comes over. We go through the whole yelling thing again. We go through the whole asking for forgiveness again. The whole explaining the bases again. I like having to relive that whole morning all over again. I was like, we don't want you guys to have contact with each other. We don't want you guys ever speaking to each other again. They just wanted to separate us because they were like, Y'all don't listen, okay? You shouldn't be together. So they leave and you guys, my parents find out that Adele knew. They find out that I went to Diana's house and Diana knew and I lied about that. I got my phone taken away for like two months. Adele got her phone taken away for two months just because she knew about it. <laughs> she was an accomplice. Diana was not allowed to come over. I was not allowed to see her go over her house for a very long time. Sleepovers were cut off. And we're not allowed to like see each other ever unless it's like we have to. And because of why I knew him and how I knew him, we would still see each other at least once a week. But like, you know, family was around, other people were around. So there was one moment that we got like to just talk and like see each other really quickly and have a conversation without anyone around and i ask him i'm like nick miller where did we go wrong how did we get caught there's it just doesn't make sense the math isn't mathing only you and i knew only adele and diana knew but they were never gonna tell and if they did why would they tell your dad so i know it wasn't my people it had to be you and i know you're not dumb enough to say something so how did they find out y'all he goes to me he's like i was coming home from basketball practice one day and my mom caught me at the door and she asked me straight up did you spend the night with Justine the other night? And in his head, he thought a neighbor saw us or something. So why, because he thought that, he decided to confess to the entire thing. Because he's like, well, maybe I won't get in so much trouble if I just come out with it instead of lying, especially if she already has the proof. She, she already has receipts. Uh, it would just be worse if he lied, right? Come to find out. Y'all are not going to believe this. Come to find out, his mom was asking him because she had a dream about it. I'll say that again. His mom had a dream about us spending the night together. And that is how we got caught. After a year went by, we felt like we were maybe ready to speak to our parents again and be like, we still want to see each other. My parents surprisingly were like, he kind of said yes, but with conditions. But at that point I was like, I accept, I'll take it. Okay, like I just want to date this boy. His parents uh, did not have the same reaction. They said, and he was older than me, it was like his senior year of high school. Um, and they said to him, they were like, if you go away to college this year and you guys go an entire year without speaking, no communication, allow yourselves to grow, spiritually um within yourselves 
in all aspects just grow and then after that year if you guys still want to be together we'll give you our blessing right and he's the type of person who he has to honor his parents he's always stuck by his word he was just he's just an all-around good guy so he was like okay we'll do it and he comes to me tells me that and i'm like Pfft. I mean that ain't nothing like I know we're getting married so like sure it's not gonna be nothing but also in my head I was like we're not really gonna do this like we're not really gonna go a year without talking like realistically how would they know they're gonna know how would they know so I'm thinking like maybe we're not really gonna do it but sure like I guess if it means getting their blessing so we can finally be together sure we'll do it he goes away that first month is really hard like we still kind of talk here and there but then his parents are in his ear checking out like did you talk to her like are you honoring your word and i think eventually it started to eat away at him that he wasn't being honest about uh what we agreed to so then he was like justine i know it hurts but we got to do this the right way i love you in a year we're gonna be together and i was like you're so right this way i love you this way you're such a good man um so we go the year we do it we actually do it the hardest year of my life right i had the date written down i said a year to this day had it written down and everything and finally that day hits and i hit him up i'm like man this is the day babe today's the, you know what today is like all hype right i hit him up and he's like hey i'm like hey like all of a sudden i don't even know the man i'm texting it's so weird and i'm like what's what's happening why is he not now asking me to be his girlfriend like we both mark this day down so like what's good y'all homeboy done met a girl he done met a whole girl and i my loyal self waited the entire year for this man for us to be reunited and be together and he didn't went and let himself meet a new girl he is now married with a whole baby spoiler it's not my baby <laughs> Um, but yeah so that is that story and I hope you guys get to know a little bit more about me about um, how I grew up my upbringing my relationships my heart <laughs> but yeah so that is that story i hope you guys enjoyed it and that is the story of my first love thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video i love you so much don't forget to like and subscribe yeah i'll see y'all in the next video <laughs> bye treat an outside wound with rubbing alcohol, you treat an inside wound with drinking alcohol. Science.